Hello everyone, welcome to the start of a brand new series on the channel. I am welcoming you to the Pokemon Blue Randomizer Elimination Lock. Um, yeah, I, had, I said it kind of slowly because I am, was afraid I was going to say the Sapphire Chain Mono Lock. Um, speaking of that, I have, to, I have to say something about that series in just a second, so please bear with me as I <clears throat> talk a lot because this is a... Uh, an opening episode to a brand new series. Um, either way, um, if, you, if this is your first time seeing me on your screen, my name is Ben, I do Pokemon content on this channel, and I also have a main channel where I do everything else pretty much. Uh, Mario games, uh, Mario speedrun live streams, and many other more stuff. Uh, something might be coming in the future on that channel, so if you want to hop on this ride, it is free. Go ahead and click that subscribe button, and you'll join this uh, awesome journey with me. Um, so, um, <laughs> I say um a lot. I need to stop that. Either way, um, I just... Dude, there was an intro moment where I talked about this. I think it was the Dead Red uh, Episode 4 intro moment. Where I, I said I need to stop saying so, and like three seconds later I said so again, and I started laughing. Either way, um, I did it again. I, I gotta find something, like I'll tell you my problem, like, if I can't think of something to say, I'm just gonna keep saying something to like, fill that awkward silent, awkward pause. So... You see, like, I can't, I don't know, I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, but yeah, um, I know the Pokemon Sapphire Chain Mono Lock isn't done yet, so what I'm gonna have to do is, since this episode is going up on a, uh, Wednesday, October 16th, I was thinking, so, that, um, there's gonna be two episodes a week of the Pokemon Sapphire, uh, series. Monday and Friday, so I can get with done with that as soon as possible, and and just to have the elimination lock in the mix, I'm gonna put this on Wednesdays. So Monday you're gonna get Chain Mona Lock, on Wednesday you're gonna get elimination lock, and on Friday you're gonna get another uh, Chain Mona Lock. Um, but yeah, it, I don't know. Yeah, this is the most recent video after the newest episode of uh, Sapphire, so I uh, really apologize for all the uh, delays and issues that I had. Like, apparently this series doesn't want to work with me, but don't worry, we're gonna pull through. We're gonna make uh, this the best end of uh, a year, the best end of 2019 that we can. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get into explaining what the chain monologue is. I'm gonna get into the game because I've been taking my time way too much. I love talking a lot in the episode zero. I'm sorry. This is why I always cut it early, just to not make it like too long, like a, an actual episode. This is also a very fast, fast-paced game, so like I could be done with this in eight episodes. So, um. Yeah, let's get into what a Nuzlocke is, because uh, a Nuzlocke is basically the base of an Elimination Lock, or a Soul Link, or all of those. So, um, as I like to explain it, um, a Nuzlocke is just a little challenge to spice your game up to make it a little bit harder, uh, maybe a little uh, funner, or more fun, however you want to say it. Um, Hold on, let me pull my fan closer to me, because it's very hot in my room. Yeah, I'm sorry for the mess of the back there. I don't have anywhere to put that. Either way, um, yeah, before I get into the rules of the Nuzlocke, I am just going to, uh, check this item right here. I swear if this is a- if this is a ball, I'm gonna- it's gonna be weird. Oh, what do you know? Just kidding, I knew it was going to be a great ball because, uh, this is like my fifth try, uh, tr trying to, uh, get this episode. 
I kept messing up my words too much, so I didn't really want to keep those, so hopefully this is the one. So, the Nuzlocke has three basic rules. All you have to do is uh, just follow those rules to have a Nuzlocke. So the first rule is called the first encounter rule. Well, I call it the first encounter rule. Um, you can only catch the, po the first Pokemon in every route or area you enter. Unless you implement implement one of the three uh, clause rules. The first one is a dupes clause. Basically, if you encounter a Pokemon that you already have, you can implement implement the dupes clause and catch a different po and get a different encounter. Uh, then there's the species clause, where if you um, if you find a Pokemon that has the same of that is in the same evolution line of a Pokemon that you already have. You can implement the Species Clause and get a different encounter. Or if you encounter a Shiny Pokemon that is called the Shiny Clause, you can catch it no matter what. Uh, but this game doesn't have any Shiny Pokemon, so no uh, Shiny Clause in this game. And there's also no First Encounter Rule in an Elimination Lock, and I'll get to that in a second while uh, I finish explaining the rules. So, um... The two other rules, if any Pokemon faints is considered dead, you cannot use it in battle again. And the final rule, you must nickname every Pokemon you catch. Uh, and my punishment for if I don't follow that rule is I cannot use that Pokemon. And something smells burnt, give me a second. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's not my cables, because I have a big mess in, in, behind my computer. Um, so, where was I? Uh, yeah, the, let's take a look at the starters, and then I'm going to explain the Elimination Lock rules. So we're going to start off with a... Ponyta, not bad. Let's see, n number two is a Dodrio, that's actually great. And number three... What are the odds? <laughs> that is, <laughs> that's cute. Dodo and Dodrio. Okay, um, so I'm gonna pick the Dodrio, but we're not gonna be able to use it, and I'll get to that in just a sec. So, I'm not I'm also not gonna add it to the layout, um, because now I'm getting to the Elimination Lock rules. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it Starter, just because, uh, I'm gonna get to that. <laughs> so, in the Elimination Lock, you ignore the first encounter rule because you do not catch any Pokemon in this Nuzlocke type. So, and the reason why is uh, because at the beginning of the game, you select six, uh, you randomly generate six uh, Pokemon, and those six Pokemon are the only Pokemon you can go with through the game. And you cannot catch any Pokemon, you cannot get statics, nothing. Those six Pokemon you're getting at the beginning of the game... I'm talking fast, I'm sorry. Those Pokemon that you're getting at the beginning of the game, those are the only six Pokemon you're going with, and if one of those Pokemon die, you cannot bring another Pokemon to the team. So, like, you're locked from adding Pokemon, and yeah, it's a really tough... Uh, it's a really, really tough, uh, lock type. There's a lot of dust on my table, I'm sorry. So yeah, that means we cannot use our Dodrio here, which is why I called it... I swear I thought I saw a piece of, a piece of dust fall off the ceiling. <laughs> Either way, um, like I said, uh, I cannot use this Dodrio, and I cannot use any Pokemon in Catch. So, uh, I have a, uh, random generator, a Pokemon generator pulled up, so I'll make a quick cut into that generator in just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is, this right here is the, uh, Pokemon generator, uh, it's literally called random Pokemon generator. I'm gonna leave a link in the description, or you can look up, uh, let me just take a look at the link, randompokemon.com. So, all you need is... So, 
this is what you're going to see. Uh, so we have generate sig amount of Pokemon, regions, um, all types, or whatever. So I'm going to select only Kanto, all types, uh, I don't know, I'm going to ignore these. Um, forms, are, are there forms in, uh, I don't think so. Either way, we're going to, so once I click generate, this website is randomly going to give me six Pokemon, and those six Pokemon are going to be the Pokemon that I am going to need to uh, generate into the game, and those are that is going to be my team. So we're going to go ahead, click generate, and let's see what we get. That is actually dope. That is actually dope. Articuno, Dragonair, Chansey, Abra, Seal, and Wigglytuff. So this is actually a very, very good team. I'm happy with this. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to make a quick cut right here. I'm going to generate all of these Pokemon into uh, the game. And obviously, I can evolve these Pokemon like Abra, Seal, Dragonair. All, I can evolve all of those. So it's not that I have to keep them in their forms. Abra is actually amazing, because once I get an Alakazam, I'm going to be destroying the game. And I, I start with an Articuno, which probably has Ice Beam, which is great. And Chansey is just a uh, HP bank, pretty much. Even though it has terrible defense. But, um, yeah, I'm going to make a quick cut. I'll be right back with this exact team that we got in the generator. Wow. And I realized I just made a mistake, because I cannot catch- I would rather do this after I get the Pokedex. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna roll with this, um, with this nor team normally, like with the Dodrio. And once I get the Pokedex, I'll gen in the Pokemon. So let's go get this PC potion. Dude, are you kidding me? When I cannot catch Pokemon, you give me that. Like, the one time I can't catch Pokemon, you give me a Mew on the first route. That's just crazy. That is crazy, dude. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the Nuzlocke starts only once you get Pokeballs, so... But I'm not going to be using Pokeballs. Actually, that means I'm never going to start the Nuzlocke. Just kidding. So, in the next episode, I'm already going to start the Nuzlocke. Because it it, it, it it has to start somewhere. So, yeah. I'm going to generate the team, get the Pokedex, and that is when I get the... Uh... That is when I get it. That is when I get the Pokedex. That's when I start the Nuzlocke. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, so this is a good spot, um, so I'll make a quick cut, uh, in the cut, I'm gonna generate the team, and then I'll be back with a, just to show what the team is, and then in the next episode we're gonna kick off the Pokemon Blue Randomizer Elimination Lock. I'll be right back. Okay, it's <laughs> been a while, but I finally got the team into the game, everybody is level 5. So I'm going to have a quick little team recap to wrap this episode, and then in the next episode we're going to kick off the actual em elimination lock. So we have Mystic, the Articuno, Peck and Ice Beam, Crystal, the Dragonair, Wrap, Lear, Thunder Wave, Meg, the Chansey, Pound, Double Slap, Spoon, Frickin. Yeah, when I'm... Eh, frick. Well, I, I can't... I'm, I guess we skipped the route, um... Spoon, the Abra with Teleport. <laughs> and Angel, the Seal, Headbutt. And finally, Microphone, the Wigglytuff with Double Slap, Sing, Sable, and Defense Curl. So that is the team. Apparently, we're gonna wrap it up in the Pokemon Center in uh, Viridian City. But, uh, yeah, that's... That is the team. Um, thank you everybody so much for watching this opening episode. Uh, if you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe if you're interested to see what happens in this series, and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever a brand new episode 
or a brand new video goes up. And um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, that is also very important. And I shall see you in the next video.